I've been putting it off for so long, but finally I want to do a studio tour for you guys. A bit of a behind the scenes of the Tech Chap office, the studio, how it all works, how I make my videos, what kind of kit I use, and just generally a bit of a nose around. So it's also kind of to celebrate my 100K. I'm now on 106, which is incredible. And I want to do something a little bit different. So first of all, let me get out of the way and just show you the studio or what is actually just the second bedroom in my house. And as you can see, it really isn't actually very big at all. I have to kind of make do with what I can in the space I have. So I don't really have much of a plan for this video. I thought I'd just show you around uh, and go through the different bits and pieces. So let's start with the desk and my computer setup. So the most obvious thing on my desk is the monitor. It's an ultra wide, a Dell U3415W. And as I'm sure you know, if you watch my channel, I love a good ultra wide. I can't go back to a traditional 16 by nine. It's just so immersive for playing games and also uh, for working. Obviously I use Premiere Pro a lot. So if I were to open a project, you can see just how much space you get for uh, your timeline and your footage. It's just really handy for video editing, super immersive for gaming. Moving on from this to this, I would just like to quickly thank Cooler Master, not for sponsoring the video or anything, but they've been so helpful in the past getting me components and PC cases for my uh, builds, for the, my AMD build and Intel build. So a big thank you to Cooler Master. And I am using one of their most recent Mastercase Pro 6 cases, which Inside we have a MSI 1080, we've got 32 gigs of RAM, a terabyte SSD, we've got a X370 motherboard, uh, water cooling, pretty much everything you need for 4K video editing and also pretty high-end gaming because this monitor being 3440 by 1440 is not far off 4K in terms of actually the amount of pixels it has, so you need a pretty beefy rig to play games at high settings on that. So that is the desktop. I've also got the uh, Google Home here. This is the UK one, I also have a US one. I actually do prefer the Amazon Echo though, I've gotta be honest. Um, they're very, very, very similar, but I just kinda of prefer the Echo. So this is obviously what I use when I'm at home, but when I'm on the go or at work, uh, I use the Dell XPS 15 here, which is a great laptop, and I still probably think the best laptop you can buy right now. Although I am about to get the new MacBook Pro 15 KB Lake in, and I'll be comparing them. We'll see if I still have the XPS 15 after that. So as you can see, I love a good clean desk. I try to minimize cables where possible. I've gone for a Surface keyboard. I've got a uh, Logitech wireless mouse. I like things to be tidy. I don't like much clutter. And I think this setup for me works really well. Now as for the desk itself, I get quite a lot of compliments on this desk. Um, even my brother went out and bought the same setup. Now I have to be honest, it's not my original idea. I did steal it from a Reddit post a few months back, but let me show you what it is because I have done a little bit of prep for this video. I've actually lined up some websites for you. And this desk is a Carlby Walnut uh, worktop from Ikea. It's actually the smaller one of the two. That is this. And it's great. I think it's actually a kitchen countertop, but it works really, really well. It's really smooth, great texture to it. And when I'm doing sort of B-roll on here, I really like the effect. And it's just a bit different from the generic white desks and tables that all other YouTubers seem to have. Now this is sitting on top of two of these Alex drawers, which we've got here. Uh, 50 quid each, nothing particularly special, good for storage. So it's literally just a kitchen countertop on top of these two drawers. It's as simple as that. And as you can see, I've also got some RGB lighting down the back. If I uh, go right in here, I'm not sure if that'll work, but they're just little RGB strips along the back, which uh, go around the side. Very, very simple, really not that expensive. The whole setup's like 200 quid or something, so anyone could get that, and now you know. I also get some compliments on the light. It's nothing very exciting, but it is just a lamp. It's a Orky bedside table lamp, only 27 quid, so, uh, so nothing particularly extravagant. It's kind of just like an Ikea setup, but I think it looks great. I really do like it, and I love having wireless peripherals like this. And of course, also, we have Linus. If you're uh, following my Q&A videos, you'll know that I got a plant because someone recommended me to, and he sits right there. I call him Linus for obvious reasons. I'm not sure what they are. This is a Banksy compilation. It's nothing particularly exciting. It's just a thing from Amazon. But living in Somerset, which is uh, right by Bristol, where Banksy's from, well, he's a bit of a local hero, really. So a uh, big fan of Banksy, and that's what that is. Tech Chap mug using my old logo, which I used to use for my tea and tech videos. I also have, obviously, a glass grenade decanter with a Union Jack flag in it. That was a uh, 18th birthday present, I think, from a uni mate. So uh, that's obviously goes right there. Very, very tasteful. Good old Blighty, obviously goes with the Tech Chap theme, being a bit British. I uh, got this from Camden in London. Just a bit of wood, but uh, I quite like that. That goes there. 
So let's move from the desk to my storage area. I also have a bit of a soft box here I move around sometimes. I've just got so much stuff like uh, motherboards, camera lenses. This is the uh, Xeon Crane gimbal I used for a recent video. Uh, all my bits and pieces in here like uh, hard drives and SD cards, cables, camera bags, uh, adapters, phone cases, mini PCs, uh, lots of backpacks. Moving over here, I've got a 4K monitor for when I'm benchmarking in 4K. It's a bit of an old Samsung TN panel, so I don't tend to use it unless I uh, need 4K specifically. Camera slider, monopod, and in this corner, I've got a bit of a charging station. This is for uh, my LED lamp, uh, laptop, camera. Got a Blue Yeti, which I don't tend to use that often anymore, but I think it looks quite nice. I attempted to put some acoustic paneling up to reduce echo and improve my audio quality, but it didn't really make much of a difference. In the end, what I did was go from a Rode VideoMic Pro to a Sennheiser ME2 lavalier mic, which sounds a lot better, especially in a slight echoey room like this. Now, the final thing I wanna show you is my camera setup, and not just the camera, but also my teleprompter. Because you may not know, but for a fair few of my videos, I'd say about three quarters, I actually completely script the whole thing. And you may think that's like a little bit lame maybe, or you know, it's not the best way to do YouTube, but sometimes when I'm doing complicated reviews with a lot of technical specs and I wanna get my arguments across, I find it so much better to script it first, really get my thoughts together, plan out what I want to say, have my arguments ready, because if I'm giving like buying advice or if I'm saying something's good or bad, I don't wanna just think off the top of my head like I'm doing now. I wanna have it really sort of reasoned and backed up and things like that. And I find writing scripts for videos helps me get my point across more concisely so I'm not just rambling, again, which I am now. So for that, I use a homemade teleprompter. This is a simple iPad, an iPad Pro. Bit of plastic, uh, my brother kindly 3D printed me some uh, little struts for it. Cardboard box to reduce the light around it, and it's all just mounted on a standard tripod. Really nothing very expensive here except the iPad, I guess, and I use a teleprompter app. So I uh, write my scripts on a Google Doc over here, and I'll import it onto my iPad, and then as you can see, I can just read it. So I've got my camera set up here, this is the Panasonic GH5, a newer LED lamp, I've got a Manfrotto tripod and a uh, fluid head mount, which is great for B-roll, as you can see. And all I simply do, it's not for every video, but the ones that I use it for, I'll stick that there, obviously adjust it slightly, and then uh, look through here. It's not quite right, uh, but uh, close enough. And then you can see what I want to say. So Intel's announced their new super high-end Enthusiast X series of processors that include the Core i9 chips, which will only work with one of these, the new X299 motherboards, which is actually that thing here. So as you can see, it's really not anything premium. It's just like a cardboard box to reduce the lighting around it as well. And it just reflects off the iPad and then onto the glass, the plastic, and then I can read it. Very, very simple. Anyone can build one. And I think it does help me produce more concise, more informative YouTube videos. But I'd love to hear your opinions on uh, YouTubers scripting their content using prompters like this. Hopefully you don't see my eyes dart left and right too often, but obviously not everyone does that. It's uh, a personal preference and it saves me from having to memorize two or 3,000 word scripts for each video. But um, that's a bit of a behind the scenes, which I think not many people know about. Finally, onto the camera. As I say, we've got a Panasonic GH5 here, got a little lamp, and the best bit is that you can then articulate the screen no memory card, take off the thing, and then you can see where I am now. I can then connect my phone over Wi-Fi using the app so I can sort of focus this remotely when I'm sat over there. So generally, the GH5 is a great camera. As for lighting, well, you can see there's a uh, skylight here, which is a bit annoying because it makes my face really bright uh, when I'm directly in it. I also usually close the blinds on that one because it's a bit distracting in the background. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little behind the scenes tour. I'm sure I'll be doing more in the future. Really, I didn't put any preparation into this. I just started the camera rolling because I wanted to show you uh, basically what everything is, how it all looks, and how I make my videos. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Channel.